Hi there, Cindy Weber here with another foam roller for you. Um, this time I'm going to use a smaller foam roller, but if you have just the longer one, that's okay too. I just find this one easier to maneuver because we're going to be working out our bicep and our tricep and our shoulders today. So let's get started, shall we? All right, with your hips going one way, foam roller on the other side of you. I want you to start with your palm up on the foam roller. I'm going to keep my other hand on the foam roller so that I can have some control over it. So what I'm doing is working out the tricep muscle. Now, yes, of course, you can rock your arm side to side or just find a spot where you're feeling a little bit of tension and hold it there or just keep moving. So starting with the triceps and sometimes a little bit different angle will feel good. Be really mindful of your shoulders as you do all of these. You're just breathing in and out as you roll onto that foam roller with the triceps. Working all the way from elbow toward the armpit. I'm gonna move this out of the way because I'm quite sure I'm going to hit it at some point. And then begin to turn your hand so that your thumb is up and you'll get a little bit different angle on the tricep here. And then after a few rolls that way, turn your palm down. Getting at another angle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then thumb down. So you might need a little readjustment here. I'm going to bring my foam roll at a little bit different angle so I can get that thumb down. Thumb down, sorry. At the ground, just be careful not to drag your thumb on the ground, that might hurt. And then turn your palm all the way up so it's turning toward the sky. A massage there. And then I invite you to lay down on that hip with the foam roller right underneath your armpit. So we've got pectoral muscles on the back and latissimus on the back body. Or, sorry. Performance on the piriformis on the front, latissimus on the back body. So you can either put your hand on the foam roller as we do our clamshells or hand behind your head. So you wanna inhale as we open, exhale as we work into the front body. Inhale, open, exhale, front body. Inhale, and exhale. Good. Uh, come on up and we'll go to the other side now. So working the upper arms all the way into the shoulder. Feels so good. All right, palm up to start. Going slowly or finding a stiff spot or not and stopping there. Just noticing what you notice. If you need to stop and hold it to release it, go ahead and do so. Otherwise, we're moving. Staying off of the joints, thinking about the muscles and the connective tissue only. And then thumbs up. Hmm, what did I do to that tricep? And then palm down. Feeling it? Yeah, I do. <laughs> and then thumb down. Good. Be sure to change the angle if it bothers your shoulder even a little bit. And then palm up. That's getting more into your bicep, right? You feeling it? Woo. All right, lay right over it. Make sure you're getting the pectoral muscle on the front body and the latissimus muscles on the back body as you rock. Okay, so that bottom hand can support your head. You can either take this hand, the top hand behind your head or keep it on your foam roller, whatever feels right to you. Let's go ahead and do our clamshells, rolling onto our back body as we inhale, exhale, coming forward into the front body. In and out. 
and do three to five here. Good. And then we're gonna work our way up into the shoulder. I'm just gonna put my shoulder on it and rock it forward and back. So not the bones, right? It's on the muscles of the upper arm. Good, and then do the same on the other side. Just rocking forward and back. One more time. Hopefully you're finding some release there. Now, if you have neck indications, like a ruptured disc in your neck, you do not want to do this one. I have a little bit of trouble with my neck, so I'm going to go real easy on myself here. But you decide what's right for you. And for this one, I'd actually recommend your longer one. But if all you have is a shorter one, you can use that as well. I'm going to demonstrate on the longer one. And the reason why I like it is because you can take your arms way out wide and hold on to the ends of it as you're lying over it. Excuse me, I have to move my microphone to the other side. <laughs> All right, hands go out wide, hang on to the foam roller, tuck it way in by your shoulders and gently rock your knees and your head side to side. Inhale one way, exhale the other. And then make a bit of a figure eight with your head. So I'm taking my head up and around. Think about your nose doing the tracing. Up and around. Up and around. I'm gonna do three of those. And then reverse it. Going down and then up. You might feel your skull getting a little massage here and the muscles of the skull. Not to mention the connective tissue of fascia. And then when you're all done, you can move that slightly so your back or your head is supported or push it way into your shoulders, whatever feels best. Sometimes I'll even roll onto my shoulder and really hug it in close, as though like this is part of my pillow. You know, those Tempur-Pedics where they kind of go up and then down. And then I'm kind of massaging out my skull and I just rock my head forward and back a little bit. Kind of helps elongate the cervical spine. And then the other side, I'm just going to roll away from you for a minute. And do that same thing because it feels so darn good. <laughs> and now onto your back. And I'm going to come all the way up. And once again, stay off of the bones. Think muscles only every time you're using your foam roller. All right, thanks for joining me today. My heart to yours. Together, we will get through this, guys. Namaste.